Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, this is BC Plays here and today we'll be testing out the Koenigsegg Jamera Outclass Edition that came with the brand new Motorpass which came with the Season 2 of The Contractor and um, let's just get straight into it, may as well not waste any time because look at this car, this car does look very very nice, probably if not one of the nicest cars that has come out in the Crew 2, it just looks very nice overall, um, it is a hypercar so the stats will be catered to the hypercar but we'll see what this uh, this vehicle offers at its base value so as you can see the performance level is a 292 and it, its top speed is just below 248 miles per hour which is not bad for a, uh, a basic non-upgraded hypercar and then the horsepower of this thing as well is also 1,700 horsepower, which is just insane because Koenigseggs just love to, they just love a bit of horsepower. They absolutely thrive on it. But this is the Jamera Outclass Edition. Um, that is the base stats. That's all I can go through right now. So we may as well put some performance parts on and also customize it as well. But I think there's not many customization parts we can add on to this vehicle. But let's get straight into the uh, performance and just put 320 parts on every single aspect of this vehicle and then we will look at the stats afterwards as well. And yes, this vehicle is only available through the motor pass, which is 80,000 crew credits. So I don't know exactly how much that is in real life money, but I just had them lying around so I purchased the motor pass to get this vehicle. So as you can see, we have now put the 320 parts on this vehicle, doesn't matter if they're gold, purple, blue, green, whatever. Um, but we've just put 320 parts on and the top speed is now gone up to 279 miles per hour, which is very, very nice to see. Horsepower stands at 1,808, 0 to 16, 2.43, not the fastest, but also very good on the... Uh, on the scale of things so it is not the fastest but it is still very good uh, quarter mile in 8.9 seconds which is also very good and then brake distance 60 to 0 is 17.3 yards which is uh, also very good so the stats overall look very good obviously you are paying real life money in exchange for this uh, vehicle which I do not recommend but you can do that with any car in the game you like but again personally I wouldn't but this is just to show you the guys the performance and the customization of this vehicle now let's get into the customization which I don't think there is anything I think all you can change is the livery and yeah you can't change the color you can't change the visual parts but you can add your own vanity items and liveries as you wish as well but this vehicle does look very nice by itself as you can see the yellow and the black does look very nice but I'm going to change it up a bit and see what's on the top 100 because I know there will be something and that white does look very nice I can't lie the white and the gold does look a little bit better than the black and the gold in my opinion so we're gonna get it we're gonna get it we've got a nice white Jamera outclass edition here and it's all ready to go um, so we may as well jump straight into an event to see how this vehicle performs because I just can't wait it does look very nice and Let's go to an event. I'll see you there in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Jamera Outclass Edition in the middle of nowhere. It's, we're in the desert, <laughs> but we're at the Big Land Hypercar event. We're doing it on Ace as always, because whenever I like to test a vehicle, just put it on Ace for the extra bucks mainly, but also just the, the AI are a bit better. But the AI are still awful, so. If you want to properly test this vehicle, online would be the best place, but again, no one plays online. I've gone through that in a whole separate video. But we're just here for this vehicle, and to start off with, it feels, you know when you first like feel a vehicle? In any, in any racing game, you first feel a vehicle. It just, this one feels very heavy. It feels um, very heavy compared to the rest of the... Uh, hypercar vehicles in the game but nonetheless we are speeding which is very nice but yeah it feels clunky but I haven't really got to test it with any turns yet um, and obviously we are very limited on hypercar events there is about 
five or six that actually are a short time whereas the rest are all 15 plus minutes and I don't really want to be sitting here for 15 minutes testing out one vehicle just for a video so we are very limited when it comes to that and that's probably why you'll keep seeing the same races over and over again in different car reviews but uh, enough of talking about hypercar races this vehicle is really fast and it's just yeah it's very nice the the fit like the drive is um like the brakes feel fairly decent when i've uh, used the brakes uh, it's very very fast with speeding and even though it feels clunky it does still sort of feel agile look it it literally turns like butter this is probably the first car that i can say has nice turning on the crew too look at that it literally just it glides round the corner this is lovely i love this vehicle already and to be fair i did somewhat get it for free because i've been collecting oh <laughs> i've been collecting up my um crew credits from previous seasons and stuff like that and i thought i may as well just purchase the motor pass because why not and pretty much got this vehicle for free which is very very nice i've it's taken <laughs> three years of grinding but we've got the uh, the Jamera outclass edition and it does feel very nice um obviously again this review is very is very biased and also can be changed with sliders and um changing the performance and all of that in the actual vehicle menu so just take that into consideration and also like i said you can only purchase the motor pass with crew credits so I'm not sure if it would be worth everyone's money buying this vehicle so I'm not going to give a clear conclusion to that but for me and just for the car in general it is very nice it is definitely one of the um, one of the best hypercar vehicles I have used in a very long time and I definitely will be using it a lot more in the future as well because as you saw there the turning and the acceleration and just the top speed and everything it just felt very very smooth and i'll definitely be testing it out more and more to see if it really is good enough but first impressions it is a very nice looking car and it is a very speedy looking car as well definitely one of the nicest cars in the game and maybe one of the best hyper cars in the game as well but who knows it's just my opinion Tell me what you guys think of this vehicle down below in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there as well and yeah that's been it for me and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.